Kite turns into a 23-year-old bucking Brock and then goes to live out his racehorse dreams in the pasture in today's very exciting vlog. Good morning, besties. We are at the barn and today we are going to start by getting everyone out except for Kite because we are going to be riding Kite today. So let's go get Zoro out in a pasture. Morning. I just ordered a bunch of new fly masks and this one is pretty gross so hopefully by the end of the week they will all have new fly masks he's really pretty good about his fly mask at first he wasn't so sure about it but now he really likes it and i ordered him a smaller size oh boy i feel like the cheetah looks so cute on him okay okay be free Make sure he does not escape. <laughs> Pester has his own pasture to his stall, so I'm just gonna throw some alfalfa in his hay gain forager to keep him busy while I get the gate open so he doesn't run me over. All right, now we can get Kite. He's gonna be just so excited to go for a ride today. <laughs> All right, he's tied up and I'm gonna grab my grooming bag and start brushing him. It's a lot later in the day than I usually ride. I don't know why, but I struggled to get up this morning. Maybe it's the concussion. I don't know, but this is what we're working with. It's a little bit hotter, but it's not too terrible, and I'll make sure to cool them off good. I keep all my brushes and grooming supplies in the super cute bag from Hot Head Stalls, and it literally has so much space, it holds everything. I make sure to get all up under his stomach, too, where both of the cinches go, because I don't want anything under those either. So dusty. Ooh. Are you missing a shoe? Bruh. He threw a shoe. I think in honor of Barbie week this week, we're gonna go with the hot pink breast collar. I think it is super, super cute. snorting about okay he absolutely hates 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 the flies so I'm leaving his fly boots on I did put some overreach or bell boots on the front legs and he's gonna get to wear this fly veil or bonnet whatever you call it it just makes him happier I know it's not really a Western thing but it works for us okay you have to get your little bonnet on and then you can get your bit. I'm not going to be able to work him just too hard because the ground outside sucks and he's missing a shoe. So I'm not going to ride him across rocks or anything today. Only in the arena. So you're trying to trick me and then you're going to duck your head. So you can try and eat grass. Yeah. I know your, I know your tactics. See, where are you going? Where are you going? Kite. You're not starving. <laughs> I am gonna put my helmet on and then we can go get in the arena. Don't push me. <laughs> okay. We are good to go now. So I'm gonna go take him to the outdoor arena and hop on.
before I get on, I make sure that both cinches are tight. That way I'm not going to be sliding off in the middle of our ride today. And I pet him for standing still for me to do that. And then I walk him for a while both ways. I walk him a lot longer because he is so much older. He is 23. I trot one way and then walk again and trot the other way. And when I asked for the trot, he decided to go a little crazy here. I guess I am happy he's feeling good, but I did totally drop my reins when that happened. And then I finally was able to just do a nice one-handed trot around. And then he had to stop and scratch his knee, of course, because it was just super itchy and was bugging him super bad. And then I asked for the lope. And here he's running me into the branch. So I just ducked and apparently that was not the right move. And my hand is slightly bruised. <laughs> Um, anyway, after that, he gives me a nice lope, broke down into a trot, and then I stop and turn around. We walk for a little while, and then I ask for a lope off, and he gives me the wrong lead, so I slow him down and ask again. Here he is looking really pretty and really good, and then I walk him to cool him down and hop off. I jump off and immediately loosen both cinches and then pet him, because he did so good despite his bronch moment. I'm going to get all of his tack off, and then we can take him inside spray him off and cool him down especially after his little bronch moment um for whatever reason i always undo the breast collar first i don't want the breast collar done if the cinches are not done just in case he were to shake i don't want the saddle to slip and be stuck underneath him just because of the breast collar or anything like that so that always goes first and then i get the cinches a little sweaty. It's a hot day. Pretty sweaty. Oh, I forgot your bell boot. Bruh. Keep it moving. Sorry. Turn around. Now I have a fan on him behind me and I'm just gonna rinse him completely off. I'm gonna take his fly boots off. I forgot the ice fly boots. So I'm just gonna use cold water today and run it along his legs to cool them down. I don't worry about it as much when he's not wearing sports boots because there's nothing, because there's nothing really trapping heat on those tendons. So I'm just gonna run some cold water over them and they should be good to go. Do you have a problem? Okay. I always end up giving me a bath too. I just always. While he's drying off, we are gonna work a little bit on his hoof care. So the first thing that we are gonna do is pick out his feet and spray Spurs Big Thick spray in all four. This will treat and prevent any sort of fungus that could be growing in there. You don't want your horse to have thrush in their feet. That is the most common one. And this will help kill it and prevent it. Drama queen. Drama queen. You're such a drama queen. I pick this foot up. Look in it. It's really not full of anything. So I'm just gonna get out what I can see in here. And you're going to know if your horse has thrush in their feet, if their frog insole has a really dark color, and especially if it stinks. They are not supposed to smell bad. If your horse's hooves smell bad, they probably have thrush. So I'm going to spray that really good in there. And that one is whatever reason, Kite. Would you quit? The next step in his hoof care is this Spurs Big Fix Hoof Fix, which is moisturizer for the outside of their hoofs. This is really, really good for them and will also keep them from cracking, which you don't want. And Kite's feet aren't perfect. They never have been, but this should really help us out. I am just gonna take the little brush and run it over his hoof just like that getting all over the front here and then i'll let this set in 
before I turn them out. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to paint the other one. Get it good and moisturized. And get the back feet. Doing just the exact same thing. Okay, weirdo, and your tippy toes over here. He also gets this kind of summer funk on his legs back here, so I'm actually going to spray some of the antiseptic spray on that to try and help get rid of it. Now before I let him go outside to graze, I'm going to make sure he is sprayed from head to toe with some fly spray because the flies here are awful. Right now I use Bug Stomper fly spray on all of my horses. Now he's good to go outside and quit being a drama queen. Now he gets to go graze for a while. in the world. Um, obviously his workout was not too hard this morning. While Kite is busy grazing outside, we are going to dump and rinse out his water buckets. They always somehow get super nasty and I always want to make sure that my horses have really, really clean drinking water. So I'm gonna get these down, dump them, and rinse them out for him. Of course, they are super full. It's like full, full, like all the way full. Okay. <laughs> I am gonna do them one at a time. So don't judge me, they're happy. <laughs> And of course it is disgusting too. So I don't want to get it on me. Now I'm gonna rinse them out really good and try to get any dirt or grime or anything out of there. in the hottest part of the day today. I am gonna give him some shredded alfalfa with some powdered electrolytes in his feed bucket just to replenish anything he sweat out today. Especially since he decided to be a little bronc and then go run like a fool in the pasture. So I know he had a little bit more of a workout than I meant for him to have today. So I'm just gonna put a scoop of these apple electrolytes on here. Chester only gets supplements in the morning so I make a little pre-made feed bag for him that they can just dump in there. He will just get salt and some Aquinity powder. Chester gets a tube of Succeed every single day for his gut health and he loves it so much. He's begging for it right now, so let's go give it to him. So good. A bit. Yeah. Two bags go 
are down to the back hallway, so we're gonna have to grab a wheelbarrow and load them up to get them down there. She's snoozing under the wheelbarrow. So let's go catch Kite and bring him inside. Of course, he is as far away as possible and is definitely gonna make me walk all the way out there. No? Of course, he's gonna stop and try and eat the whole way back. Okay, the last thing we need to do is fill up Chester's forager with alfalfa so I know that he has something on his stomach until he can get out again later today. Okay, with that, we are all done at the barn today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am going to be giving away this two inch wide, super cute, custom Hothead Stalls breast collar with the matching bell boots. They look so, so cute together to one of you guys. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below that you did, and I'll be randomly drawing a winner in exactly one week. So, good luck.